It's a breathtaking white knuckle adventure. Little boats battling mountainous waves and raging storms. A drama played out in sub-zero temperatures right up there near the North Pole in the icy Bering Sea. And it's deadly too. There's a 100% injury rate and on average one crewman is killed every week. What a way to make a living, even if you're paid a small fortune. Welcome to the world of the Alaskan king crab fishermen, a band of outlaws who risk it all in search of the prize they call red gold. Michael Usher joined the fleet and discovered for himself what it's like to hear the words every sailor dreads, man overboard. It takes a special kind of madman to head out into this two million square kilometres of the world's most violent waters. But it's king crab season in Alaska's vast Bering Sea. And for a few frantic sleepless days, the wild men from Dutch Harbour will battle raging storms, cyclone strength winds, waves five storeys high, to haul in these monsters of the deep. We loaded the boat up in 30 hours last season. Half a million dollars worth of crab in 30 hours. Half a million in 30 hours? Yeah, like red gold. They call it red gold, pots of gold. Beautiful. Jonathan Hillstrand is captain of the Time Bandit. He's a hard drinking, brawling, womanizing, cursing cowboy, right down to his snakeskin boots. They help me catch the rail, I catch the rail with them. A skipper who rules his boat like Blackbeard. But when you're up here in the chair, captain is captain. What you say yeah. goes. Yeah, I, I, I beat people up. You beat people up? Yeah. If I can say something, you can do it. Everyone knows how serious I am. Well, it's pretty serious because yeah. people die, right? Yeah, we've had lots of friends that are not around anymore. Mayday, mayday, mayday. We were fighting Mother Nature. If you win, you're winning. It's a, it's a hell of a force, man, out there. Really. It's like the Wild West. We, we are a bunch of outlaws out there, you know, and we all get drunk together and fight. There's a fair bit of uh, drinking, yeah. fighting, and yeah. swearing going yeah, on, isn't it? we love that, yeah. If you're a sensitive guy, you won't make it in Dutch Harbor. In fact, spend a bit of time with Jonathan and his younger brother Andy, and you can't help feeling you've run into a band of modern day pirates. This is our freezer bait that holds all the herring and all that kind of stuff. Right now, they got some deer in here. <laughs> they went deer hunting. <laughs> this is not bait. That's this not normally bait, but I tell you what, that would work. These crews and these boats take a beating. And if it looks like it should be a TV show, it already is. A massive rogue wave the size of a five-story building has sideswiped the boat. The adventures of the Alaskan crab fishermen have been turned into one of the most successful reality series of all time, the Discovery Channel's Deadliest Catch. Now we got no computer, knock the computer out. This is the mayhem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the alarms are going off. You can do your safety drills, and then when it really, when it really, something really happens, you're just not ever prepared. That wave was so huge. I don't want to be part of this. <laughs> I ran into the dog. That probably would have killed the ordinary man. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.
the fleet's heading out for another season, leaving Safe Harbour for the treacherous waters of the Bering Sea. It must be an unnerving journey knowing that when they get out there, that their lives are on the line. At least one person will die every week. And the deckhands who bring in the pots on board, well, they're gonna get hurt at some stage or other. This time though, perhaps more than ever, some of these captains have a bad feeling that this year's could be the deadliest catch. Yeah, I have a bad feeling about this year, I don't know why. I you think something's bad, something. Why do you feel that? I just I don't know why. I just felt sort of like uh, we're due for something bad to happen. The biggest fear of any fisherman is getting his foot caught in the line. It's just so easy to die on the Bering Sea. One slip. One spark. One freak wave. Go away! Wave hits the boat and the sky gets dark, you fing run. <laughs> bing, 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 bing. I've come to the realization that something is bound to happen sooner or later. So it's not a question of if, it's just a matter of when. The boats are heading into fishing grounds that stretch all the way to Russia. they've got just a few days to bring in $70 million worth of crab. A tiny window of opportunity, which means the crew will work for days without sleep. You know, I've gone for like three days without sleep. I'm fortunate too, because the guys are so accustomed to my fishing style that they just go with it. They're used to being slapped around and just, look, we're not sleeping tonight. You look dead dog tired. I don't look tired, do I It's at this point of utter exhaustion when mistakes happen. Oh, God! Oh! 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 And when hell suddenly freezes over. You get a lot of hypothermia and, you know, small cases of frostbite and you don't even know it. And you're saying you enjoy this out there? Yeah, I love every minute of it, yeah. <laughs> Very happy about the ice. This is not good. Have you ever had that moment where you've thought, this is it, we're not going to oh, survive yeah. this yeah. one? Get up, get up. We are in trouble. I'll get your spouse and talk. I hate ice. You hate ice? The ice we want to season our drink. <laughs> or my tie. <laughs> You need to put your elbow over your side right here. You need to jump out that way. Right now, I'm about to get my own lesson in survival at sea. Get on your ship! Abandoned ship! The Time Bandit springs a surprise emergency drill. Lay down on your butt. Get on the get in the suit. And for once, this is no joke. Ready? I'll tell you what. My heart is absolutely racing. That is just terrible. That is not an experience you want to go through too often. And imagine if your, your life depended on it. For these men, next time won't be a drill. It'll be the radio call every skipper dreads. Mayday. Fishing vessel capsized. Uh, they were abandoning ship and heading in a life raft. An emergency beacon has been activated on the Ocean Challenger. A 460 megahertz distress beacon from the fishing vessel Ocean Challenger has been detected. A vessel 
The rest of the fleet is too far away to help. Well, they're all sitting in the life raft, waiting for the chopper. There's nothing you can do, and it's a uh, it's a terrible feeling, you know, and and it's something that we don't really dwell on. Quite a few boats, quite a few people. It's just kind of the way it is. For Jonathan Hillstrand, the spectre of sudden death is very real. A few years ago, he was too late to save a fellow captain from his sinking ship. We pulled him aboard and we got him to breathe a couple times. But it's, you, you can only last like three or four minutes in 34 degree water. He died in that stateroom downstairs, and the, and the salt stain of his body was left on the floor. Oh, you don't look like he's in a very good position. He's but not long ago, fate presented the time bandit with a chance to redeem itself. As another crab boat passed by, they saw a crewman fall from the stack of pots. I put this thing in reverse so hard, I thought the, the main engines are going to break off the motor mounts. When I backed her down, a wave hit the bow like this, and the third wave that hit us put us right next to him. You guys just pucked him out of the right, water. Right, pulled him right out of the water. Take the gun. The Time Bandit's motto is no crybabies. But even for the wild men of the Bering Sea, this is very raw stuff. You guys saved my life. Thank you for being there. Whoa. So it was, that was a triumph, personal triumph. Me, me and Russell couldn't even look at each other because he'd tear, tear us up, you know, because it was such a dramatic. It so emotionally drains you when you, when you do that. And he it was, was so a really good feeling. He was thankful to be alive. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here, how do you just here? here. Yeah, my legs are shaking. <laughs> he hugged me and said, thanks for saving my mom, thanks you. I, I had to just get the hell away from him and start crying like a baby. The Hillstrand boys have, unusually for them, sat down long enough to write a book about their adventures on Time Bandit. But now, it's a new season. Another chance to haul in the deadliest catch. I'll be doing that till, I, till they tell the brothers tell me I gotta stop. <laughs> we'll have a probably one of those wheelchair things or that pull you up and down the stairs. And I'll be in my little chair. Still uh, chasing the crabs. Still chasing crabs. Yep. Hello, I'm Tom Steinford. Thanks for watching 60 Minutes Australia. Subscribe to our channel now for brand new stories and exclusive clips every week. And don't miss out on our Extra Minutes segments and full episodes of 60 Minutes on 9now.com.au as well as the 9now app.